Today is uh, June, uh, July 2nd, 2019. So if you can introduce yourself. Keith Blankenship. And where do you come to my clinic from? I come from Missouri, Ozark, Missouri. Ozark, Missouri. Missouri. So you fly down to South Florida to my clinic. Yes. For this care. And you you were diagnosed with? Parkinson's. Parkinson's. How long ago were you diagnosed with Parkinson's? About four years ago. Okay. And four years ago, uh, what was the first sign? What was your first symptom that made uh, that somebody diagnosed you with Parkinson's? The first symptom is my, my feet, particularly my right foot, in a relaxed position, would begin to draw up by itself. Mm -hmm. My toes would curl up. Mm -hmm. And I could realize what's going on and relax, and it would go back down for a moment. And as soon as I started thinking about something else besides my foot drawn up, it started drawing up again. And I'd look at it and realize what was going on, and, it, and, and I could relax it and go back down again, but it was doing it by itself. So I went to the doctor and said, what is up with this? And she had me walk. You know, and when I walked, uh, my right arm wouldn't swing with my left arm exactly. And she told me I had Parkinson's okay. disease. And what was another symptom? And she started on the cinnamon right away back then? Started on the, uh, actually, Azelec, which Azelec. is... Le levodopa, it's basically the same thing as the cinnamon, just from a different brand. Okay. Uh, but I could trim, I could, I, I would have... So, so one, we're going to start with, so the hand was never tremoring. The hand was never really tremor, uh, but tremoring. But when you would, go ahead now. But you when can I explain. shake it like, and, and I, what got me really noticing this was if I fixed like a glass of ice and I would shake the ice down in the glass and I would start shaking like this and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop, it would just continue to shake. Mm-hmm. And how did you stop, stop it when it, I would actually physically get a hold of my hand to stop it from shaking. Okay. And now. And and so even still, you were always testing yourself. Before we get to right now, what's the yeah. development? After your second visit, after your second protocol, second treatment for me, you would were, you were use that kind of as an analysis of yourself. You would just shake your hand and show someone, and it would just shake until, until you had to stop it. it. You had to force it with the other hand to stop it? Yes. Okay. Or, or, you know, put it behind me or sit on it or something, but I would have to physically stop it. Physically stop it. It would just keep going on its own. It's like winding up a motor. It just, just kept moving. Just keep shaking. Uh -huh. Just keep shaking. And, and, you know, it would just keep shaking just like this. And, I could never and that's how it looked. So now what we just saw. So if we could see another example, what we just noticed after your second treatment, your second protocol, you just came back to me again now in July. And what did you show me? To and now I can shake it and I can stop it. Stop immediately. Without you have total control. Assistance. Yeah, no and assistance of the it, other hand. Shake it and stop it. You don't have to stick it anywhere by I underneath the to, leg. I can, I can just have it out there by itself and shake it and stop it. Yeah, excellent. Which is amazing. Amazing, amazing, excellent. You're Thank not supposed to get better. You're supposed to be getting worse, right? Right. That's what the doctor tells you, or just reading does. things online. That's what you hear. But I found Dr. Herman. Found you who says we're going after the root cause, which is what I wanted. I didn't want a Band-Aid. I didn't want somebody who says, hey, we can treat this symptom, we can treat this disease, we can treat, 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 but never the word cure. And that's what I was looking for when I found you. Mm -hmm. Somebody to cure the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're after today. Okay. And as you can see, now I can shake this and I can stop this hand. Excellent. So great improvement. And w thank you very much. Yeah, but I'm not here to cure. I want to be careful. There is no cure for Parkinson's. I just want to be real careful with those words. Remove the causes and let the body just fix itself. And that's the goal. So, and that's the way. So when you, um, when you came here back in January you, and that wind up like what you talked about with the glass with the ice and the water, you were on cinnamon at the time or Azelec? Yes. And it was still happening even with the medication? Even with the medication. And when you came here in January, you were on the medication in that previous video? Yes. And it was still happening? Yes. And you had to be able to use your other limb or something else to stop the hand from shaking. Right. And now you're still on cinnamon, cinnamon. and now it's not happening. Correct. So it's obvious after four years of being on the medication where it didn't work, that after your second round with me, now this is working. Big improvement. Excellent. Thank you for sharing.